Hi, I'm Mark Painting from NATI. Welcome to the Vic Forum 2021. NATI is responsible for setting, maintaining and promoting high standards within the translating and interpreting profession in Australia. So remember, if you need the services of a translator or interpreter, make sure they are certified by NATI. Hi everyone, I'm Tulara Lefsiniotis from the Centre for Culture, Ethnicity and Health. So at CEH, uh, we provide professional development and resources to agencies to help improve their response to people from refugee and migrant backgrounds. Two examples of how we do this, uh, through our Speaking COVID-19 workshops, we support language professionals and bicultural workers to understand all things COVID. Um, we do this so that we can help them communicate this to their communities um, in simple ways and in their language. Another thing we do is we manage health translations on behalf of the Victorian Department of Health. Uh, this is where people can access over 23,000 health and wellbeing resources in over 100 languages. I encourage you all to have a look at it. Uh, it's, a, it's a great platform, www.healthtranslations.vic.gov.au. And finally, as a North Richmond Community Health staff member, I got vaccinated today, so I'm very pleased about that. Thank you, Polaron. Um, we're a very proud uh, Vic Forum partner this year again. Enjoy the day. Bye for now. Hi, my name is Lisa Tribuzio and I'm the manager of the Centre for Cultural Diversity and Ageing. We've recently received funding from the Department of Health to lead the multilingual older persons COVID-19 support line. The support line gives callers information about COVID-19, dementia supports, and access to aged care services, including home care and residential services. It is available in six languages, Arabic, Cantonese, Mandarin, Greek, Italian, and Vietnamese. Hello, this is Viv Nguyen from the Victorian Multicultural Commission. We are an independent body that connects and advocates for culturally and linguistically diverse Victorians to be able to contribute and participate in all aspects of our society. A particular initiative that we are working on is to understand what Victorians would like to see Victoria looks like in 2030. And I really encourage you to join us online, in person, give us a call, send us an email in whichever way, shape or form that, that suits you to tell us what you think Victoria should look like in 2030. Thank you. Hello, Victor Purton here from the Centre for Optimism. And what we'd like to share with you is our new animated micro-credential called The Habits of an Optimist. We have some of the greatest talent of multicultural Australia and the world recording their voices on what makes you more optimistic and turning it into an entertaining educational product that one British government official said was the best hour he spent in the whole of lockdown. We'd invite you to try it and share it with your friends. Hi, my name is Sheena White and I'm a member of the Northern Metropolitan Region. 2020 was a challenging year and it taught us so much about the importance of communicating in different ways to talk to different communities across our state. Throughout the pandemic last year, we worked to provide government health advice in over 56 languages in audio and visual formats. It's great to see this forum going ahead so that we can share what worked well, so that we can continue on a path forward and recover as a stronger Victoria.